Combo. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this deal. Do you believe that it will restore economic stability to Sri Lanka? Well, it's a necessary but not sufficient condition for that. When the IMF reaches an agreement with us, what the IMF is saying is, is that it believes <clears throat> that we are on the path to the sustainability of our economy and our economic growth, and indeed that we are committed to maintaining our debt sustainability as well. So in a sense, what it is, is the IMF is giving us, you know, its stamp of approval, in a sense, to proceed. And we are now then going to be able to attract more funding from other sources as well. So this deal is largely conditional. Will Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan government be able to fulfill its end of the deal? Well, this is the big question because the, an amendment to the Appropriations Act was presented uh, four or five days ago, and it has to be voted on in Parliament. And the point is, is that the majority in Parliament who supports the president, who in fact elected or selected the president, belongs to the party of his predecessor. So they have to come to a consensus that some of the conditionality which involves, you know, no more public spending in terms of recruitment, the consideration of getting rid of the state-owned enterprises that are making tremendous losses, etc., that they're willing to support all of that. These are proposals that when they were previously presented, the Sri Lanka People's Party, that is the, the majority in parliament, rejected and voted against. So it's somewhat ironic now that they will have to support it if we are going to go through with the deal with the IMF. We've seen um, shortages of fuel, food, and medicines for the people of Sri Lanka. In practical terms, what does it mean for daily lives of people there? Uh, will they see an improvement? Well, at the present moment, the fuel crisis, as far as the distribution, etc., in Colombo has eased somewhat. But outside of Colombo in particular, it's extremely severe, and it is bad. And therefore, the hope is, is that this will put us on the road to recovery. But as the president has said before, it is going to get worse before it gets better. And therefore, there are still sacrifices that people will have to go through. But in the meantime, hopefully, we will be able to manage. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Pakia Soti Saravanamutu, thank you.